the girl that time forgot She just shakes her Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Honcast here. Hon Tour Season 4 coverage continuing to come at you. Uh, what is the group stages, of course? Cycle number one here. Kicking it all off this last weekend into the week we go and continuing with the groups. Really excited to be here as today. Let's just say we are kicking it off with... Arguably one of the better and more anticipated matchups here of the group stages as we have two of the top teams right now in Heroes of New Earth going at it. That, of course, being Reason Gaming versus not Sync Esports here in this best of two series from the group stages. So, again, really excited to be here. I know you guys are excited to be tuning in. If you're a fan of Competitive Fawn at all, this is one of the matchups that you definitely are looking forward to. So, here we go. Uh, before we get too much into the draft, of course, got to introduce my co-caster for today. It is going to be the one, the only Saint Rock's going to be joining me. How's it going, Saint? Hi, man. Uh, glad to be here. As as you said, this is going to be a really big match. Um, and I like, I feel like Insania has downplayed his team for a long time now. Uh, I don't. I want to see how they do today. Um, and I don't know. I. I think we should just start with the picks. They're already good uh, halfway into the picking phase. <laughs> they are, you know, uh, yeah, these two teams, they're pretty confident, to say the least, when it comes to their draft and, uh, yeah, and what yeah. they want. So, real quickly, the initial bands, it was Tremble, Clanks, Ophelia, and Behemoth uh, being banned out here. The first pick, Warbeast, Immaboy, did not put much thought into that. Snap picks it. Moira responds. Doctor and Magnus, Nymphora into Prisoners. So, yeah, what, what of these picks here, Saint? Well, uh, to me, it looks quite obvious that it's going to be a Nymph Doctor uh, bot lane, uh, will be Suicide, and then they leave some picks open for the mid lane. Um, usually, you run Doctor Nymph as a combo. You can also run Nymph with the Pebbles, but um, right away, that, that looks some, like some strong ganking synergy later on in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's interesting to me that they picked Doctor right into Moira. Uh, Moira was picked before Doctor. Huh. So, knowingly, they pick uh, that Moira would be a problem for Doctor. Uh, they picked him still, so I think Emo got big plans for this hero. Yeah, that's a really good point. Mm -hmm. Moira definitely considered a at least somewhat counter to a Doctor Repulsor, no doubt. So yeah, exactly. Reason Gaming, you you, you got to think that they're that confident with that hero to to have to do that. Uh, against the Mora, but Moraxis now the fourth pick coming out. By the way, also worth noting here real quickly, you do see Panny is uh, playing for recent gaming. Yep. Uh, Masera is not here today, who normally would be their fifth for the time being. Yeah. So, exactly. He's been uh, he's been. Uh, I, I'm not sure what he's been doing, but he hasn't been screaming with them either lately. Uh, I'm not sure if there's something there, but uh, Panny is definitely just ringing for them today. Um, okay. I'm sure. I'm not sure what their plans is, but uh, you know, pen is ringing. That's definitely that's that's for sure. And also, the prisoner pick up to deal with Doctor as well. So Doctor is facing a lot of counter uh, right here. I like they just need Mage Pain, and then Doctor is going to be locked down so hard this game. Um, but yeah, the Maraxis pick up uh, mm -hmm. mostly for the mid lane, I suppose. He's still really strong against Mora because Mora won't really be able to gank him in the mid lane, and. Um, yeah, Magmus picked up on the other side, a very strong hero. Um, Minus is not picked or banned right here. That's a little interesting to me, because last time I checked, he was a very strong hero um, and picked frequently in these comp matches. Wow, Solstice. It's yeah. not very often we see a Solstice pick, really. Slapped likes him, though. This is the one team I feel like that we would happen to see a Solstice on. Uh, it is not Sync Esports here, so... Zlapped, uh, obviously going to end up in his hands. In fact, the last time we covered them uh, against, I think it was Fresh, I want to say, uh, they actually picked it up this last weekend as well. So a, a jungler that, uh, you know, you got your Ophelia, your Parasite, you, your top-tier junglers, maybe Solstice on that second tier, but when they're banned, you, you only got certain options left, obviously. So yeah, definitely. we'll go with the Solstice. And I mean, he has some interesting synergy uh, with Moira, for example. If you're good at timing your spells, Moira can set up a big ulti with a lot of uh, uh, enemy heroes in it, and Solstice can get like basically a free ulti uh, charged up on them before they pop out of the Moira. 
uh, ulti. And also, yeah. like, uh, Prisoner will keep someone in place. I think Slab is going to have a lot of opportunities to land some great ultis with the hero, uh, making, it, making it pretty viable, in my opinion. Now, what do you think about that Wild Soul Shadow Pig over there? <laughs> I was looking at that, and I had to double check to make sure it wasn't banned and that they were just from before, maybe. But no, it is not banned. It was left open. I mean, not sync, and both these teams have definitely seen what, you know, Make especially did for BMG uh, with this yeah. hero, I'm sure. And, and apparently, not sync has even been scrimming with it themselves. So yep. it's known. Will we be picking it up here is the question now. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, it's it would be for the uh, jungle wild soul, I believe. I, I think if you have the choice between a suicide war beast or suicide wild soul, I think you would go with the suicide war beast. Uh, but it is polywalk. I've seen near play this in scrims. Uh, this is most likely going to be um, a support polywalk. He is exceptional in in the short lane. Um, as a short lane support, you know, because he can lock down someone with a tongue tie for um, a lot of auto attacks from the carry. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm not sure really what his like. There's no real target on the other side that that tells me that this target needs to lock down. You know, like they're all kind of beefy, like Magnus, yeah. Prisoner, yeah. Solstice, Moira, even to some extent she has her ulti. So I'm not sure. Uh, if it's just a comfy pick or if there's something to it. <laughs> there we go, Blake. I called it. They actually wow. go the Mage Bane. Now, I want to clarify off the bat here about that, that no, the Moira Mana Sunder doesn't necessarily work as you may think with the Mage Bane Ultimate. I know when the hero first came out, that's what a lot of people were kind of looking at, like, holy crap, that combination's OP. Um, it actually does not take into consideration the actual zero. It basically takes into consideration what it was before the Mana Sunder happened. So you can't necessarily Mana Sunder into a huge... Uh, mana Rift, so ju just to make that a point off the bat, but still, this is a strong combo. So if you use it on someone, and Magebin uses his ulti when they have seemingly zero mana, they're not going to just drop to the ground. Um, yeah. It's it's not going to deal that amount of damage. That's not how the interaction works. Um, so unfortunate, but still, there's a, that's a target yet that you want to CC at least, and it looks like Kiss was playing it, so I wonder if that's going to be Kiss's suicide, Magebin. I've seen that happen before, um, and it's like, you know, the hero in the suicide lane usually doesn't get a whole lot of farm, um, and but he is sort of the only well, care in this side. Well, yeah, well, we have to take into consider. I, I know why you'd be saying that, but at the same time, the, the, this new roster, especially with Matthias joining, and, and Insania has pointed this out several times now, that they necessarily don't have set roles anymore. That, that's how he likes to basically say it out. Yeah. In fact, we've seen Keizu more as the carry for them with their tremble picks lately than we have seen anyone else. So I'm going to believe that it is going to be a short lane carry. Just the idea of a suicide mage pain when they have not really other, another hero that wouldn't. But yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, the possibility, I guess, is there. But um, As you're saying, this is the only carry they have. Um, so I, I doubt they're going to be suiciding it. And yeah, yes, it's it's re very true. Like uh, Matthias, Mickey, and Kisu, they have like this very fluid um, role distribution between them. Um, yeah. Everyone plays anything. Um, so I I would figure that it's going to be a Magnus suicide. Um, but let's see. Uh, the interesting to me is um, whether or not these lanes like Nymph, Polly, and Doctor could be some somewhat of a tri lane, and they're facing a really weak um, like carry in Mage Bane. So I wonder if they actually want to man up on that. Moraxis in the mid lane, and then Warbeast uh, as the short lane. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's viable, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what uh, recent gaming is is at least thinking about, because um, that would ensure Mage Bane to get absolutely no farm. Doctor would have a good time, and uh, they would be able to like get into Solstice jungle and shut him down. Yeah. Um, and that's really important. Like if you don't have a jungler yourself, you have two uh, you have two supports. Those two supports needs to put in an effort to um, shut down the opponent jungler or get a lot of ganks on uh, off else they're just going to fall super far behind because that's there's going to be a tempest, a solstice, a parasite farming the jungle while they're sitting and you know stacking or sitting in the lane behind the carry. 
Yeah, this um, is really interesting. Knowing, seeing who's playing what. I mean, that that's what I was very curious about actually with this panty with panty here ringing for today. Because again, Massera stepped in as more the, the middle player. We've seen that he replaced Matthias yep. technically. Where that's not necessarily Panny's typical role. Of course, we're used to seeing him in that support role. And sure enough, he is playing. It looks like to be a support polywalk priest here. And yeah, that's also I'm finding it interesting how they are choosing not to run a jungle war beast and perhaps try to solo this polywalk. Uh, instead, but you know, then the lanes would be a little funky, I guess, and how you would place them elsewhere. So, um. yeah, yeah, I I figure like I, I think Tanka Tanka is a very uh, how should I say this? He's he's very he can be a very dominating in in like uh, making calls and whatnot, and I, I'm pretty sure Tanka was like uh, Tanka probably had the feeling that he was going to do better in, in the solo lane than Penny. Um, and uh, that's probably why he's playing Moraxis, because y usually you won't you won't see this kind of swap up. Like you would get a ringer for the role that you're missing, so you don't have to swap up a lot of roles, and like thus making your team confused, maybe even. Um, that's what we've seen from you know back when BMG started doing all these weird um, or these new uh, role assignments. It didn't quite work for them because you know. There was a, a lot of new roles and people in new roles that didn't quite, like, they played differently from how they played their old roles. Um, and, and that can give some confusion and it set you behind a little bit. Yeah. But that's what they've chosen to do. Tangafet is playing the mid Moraxis and Pen Penny is going bottom, actually. They're trialing bottom, it looks like. <laughs> Defensive trialing. Now, it is, uh, Sync is going with the aggressive pseudo trialing here, so. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the defensive trial lane could definitely pay off pretty well, to say the least, here for the Legion side, uh, especially once they realize that's the case. In fact, Mango, a.k.a. Insania, he will need to be a little bit careful here as uh, they are already rotating over and looking to try to possibly get a jump onto them. So, yeah, I mean, this is definitely going to box out this Magmus Mora quite effectively, as you already see here. Solstice is not nearby for it currently, so, wow, look at the deal stun. Yeah, very aggressive seals from from near, and they're really just making a statement that if you don't bring Solstice right now, we are going to box you out, and you will get you'll get zero XP here. Um, so forcing Solstice down here is is what they're trying to do. Like so that way Solstice won't be farming uh, and giving uh, X Sync an advantage. But um, yeah, <laughs> this it's a fun it's a funny decision of them to go sort of trialing. Yeah, because as you can see, like they're really not getting anything from it. Right now. Oh, oh they're Flora going. actually going to be caught right here, but now Mora taking the return. He got polymorphed initially. He's going to be fine, though. As the Shards of Harkon come out, here comes Solstice with that blinding sun right there. Polymorph Priest, though, able to survive the onslaught of it. Going to be fine. Magmus going to fall in the background, and that is a bloodlust for recent gaming. Looking to get more. They're in a good spot to get more. Solstice gets pulled back in. Nymphora will end up falling. The Halo level 2 Solstice does at least, and he's putting in more auto attacks, trying to hold his ground. It's not going to be enough, though. He will go down, but so does Polywalk. But now Mora, the last man surviving the final auto attack comes out and it is a finish on Moya, a three for two exchange including the bloodlust including doctor staying alive throughout all of it reason gaming coming out pretty big there in the end yeah and Emma boy sitting at like 550 <laughs> dpm at this point that's, that's absurd like he couldn't have asked for a better start at this point you know what they're porting down there they're not letting this trial and go but like when you do something like this and it fails usually you just want to like uh you know, damage control it and yeah. swap back to some lanes that where you don't lose out as much. But they're just going down here again. Solstice is even watching as well. So Sync really wants this Soda Trialing to work. And uh, it just, it didn't. And Doctor now has a bottle and boots. I, this is risky. You know, I wonder, is actually Zealstone coming out and this fight now will commence once again. Magnus from the side, but you see Dr. Pulsar, he's a... A little too fast right there, and the bottle that he picked up is a nice regen coming out. The shard's going to hit Nymphora, but no follow-up. But Solstice is kind of boxed out of the jungle right now. He's almost playing a laning Solstice right here because of what's going on. He's going to buy a TP, I'm guessing. No, he actually buys boots right there. So he's going to eventually make his way back into the jungle, but it's, it's not easy uh, to, to do here as, as we see. In fact, the second he tries to kind of go in, they are there to already jump him. And yeah. make a play. I so. mean, Imbibo is, is pushing up the lane as well, so they're trying to cut off Solstice from the jungle. Um, if you have the lane pushed up as they have now, if Solstice move in there, uh, Magmus and Mora need to dive past the crew wave to, to come to the rescue. So I kind of like this positioning from uh, from uh, what Imbibo is trying to achieve here. Mm -hmm. 
And another thing to notice is they're actually ahead in... I mean, Nymph is still level 1, Polywalk just hit level 2, and then we have Imaboy on level 4, while the entire Sync Dryline is... x Sync Dryline is level 2. So, I'm not sure if they just distributed their XP better, um, but it, it definitely hurts a little bit having Nymph and Poly that far behind. Yeah. Oh, oh they're Doctor going to be jumped in right here. The follow-up's done from Solstice. So much locked down on this Hellborn trio. Oh. That is for sure. Doctor Repulsor is eventually killed off. And now the chase continues. Nymphora in trouble. She puts down the Volatile Pod. Heals up a little bit, but it's not nearly enough. The hero blocking from Slap as well. Pretty on point. He gets a double tap, and he's going to make a hat trick. Well, the team will get a hat trick right there. That's a three for nothing exchange. And now Sync pulls ahead. Man, the, the stun lockdown, it is very powerful of the three as we saw. That was beautiful initiation from Omi. He saw Ember Boy was pushing too far up. He went for it, and they they just don't lock down as you said. It like Ember Boy didn't get to do anything. He just died, and then they just went. Uh, they just started going for the other players who are a little bit uh, under leveled compared to them, uh, because Doctor got all the love from the kills. So yeah, um, Trilin is they're they're back online. They're doing okay now. Uh, but how about the solo lanes? Uh, I yeah. see Maraxis was his prisoner. Yeah, Maraxis 29 and 2, Prisoner 29 and 1. Well, wow, very even back and forth there yeah. in the middle lane. So nothing uh, too crazy there. I mean, both are pretty powerful melee presence heroes at 1v1. In fact, Prisoner going to go in right here with a prison break. Now Solstice with a flank, and Magnus was porting in this whole time. He pops the Matrax. He's tanking up a bit. The Stomp comes out. Is he actually going to get away? That creep may help him. It even blocks a little bit. He got on the other side of it, and he will survive. What a getaway. From tank event right there, that was not easy at all to make yeah. that escape. I mean, that was really, uh, I guess, I guess you know, stunning with Moraxis is going to come pretty natural, but he chose just the right timing where he could get all three people in one stun, and then he could make his escape. And also really nice, uh, oh, he's going. Yeah, and Moro's coming in with the illusion. Solstice trying to run in for the side as well. There we go with this heal stun. By the way, a one for one exchange to the middle lane while this is all happening. But down goes Dr. Pulsar. And now Nymphor is in a really bad spot. Going to be stunned in by Magnus. And yep, eventually killed off by Solstice. So what was a rocky start here for, for not seeing esports, especially at the bottom lane, has turned out to actually work out pretty damn well in the end. Yeah. And now Magnus, he's, well, the top farm in the game even <laughs> because of what's happened Definitely here. Definitely, like Trilane is crushing, and it's a Surto Trilane, so they also have a Solstice that just rotates into a jungle line and keeps on farming. And uh, also, it was something worth noticing, uh, Mickey actually got the kill before he died, um, not Tanka, so he will get XP for that. They're going on in mid now. They are. They're going in the middle lane on a prisoner right here, and he's going to feel the brunt of the damage. Nice dodge with uh, the Moraxis. As that was the Arcane Shield right there. I thought he had a haste for a second, but no, that was just the Arcane Shield procking doing work right well, there. Thanks. Meanwhile, Dr. Repulsor goes down and chasing on them four now. She's going to be a little too far, but they're diving really deep as we see all the way to the secondary tower. And Reason Gaming unable to react to it initially. Now they are coming down. Moraxis, he's looking at, nope, never mind. He decides it's best to turn around. Was not mm. going to be worth the chase right there. So Doctor, all of a sudden, three. He started 2-0-1, and, and now he's 0-3-0 and 0 since that start right here. Yep. He just died three times in a row. Um, and he's not, like, he can't get any farm against this Magnus who just aggressively stuns him. And the Moira, Moira and Salsa's follow-up just kills him. This is, like, this trial line is crushing now. And it's looking really good for Sync. Top lane mage spin is not doing, uh, like, too hot either. Warbeast is doing a really good job of I, I guess just contesting the last the last inning, but uh, Kizu got his um, his life tube, and uh, that will give him enough sustainability to stay in the lane against Warbeast. Yeah, we haven't uh, even talked Warbeast. about this top lane at all. It's it, exactly, exactly. Um, and and Kizu is just—it's it, a very quiet top lane as well. You know, not really much to mention. Like Mageman is most likely not killing Warbeast, and Warbeast the same. Like you, you won't figure that they can kill each other just um, before they get ulties at least, or a gank. Yes. It's lane. So just oh, that was just no, that was the uh, illusion. But I was actually, I noticed right there with the illusion that, look at Mora. She's level 6 already. Nymphor is level 2 right here. So the support's yep. doing a pretty damn well. Oh, In fact, going. Mora's higher than Magnus. But yeah, oh, they're going to find them in the jungle. And now Dr. Pulse is trying to run away. It is night for him, Solstice, so he will not have the initial stun from that Q. And he will get away. But Moraxis, what a hook as well. It caught Nymphora. 
I don't even know if that was planned, honestly, from Mickey, but he'll take it. As it also planned. pulled in him for, yeah, you know what, being the player he is, let's just give him the credit course, that he yeah, blindly hooked him for right there <laughs> on purpose. So. Uh, really well done there. Uh, unfortunate for Slab that uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what he was attempting because it was nighttime for it's been nighttime for a while now. Uh, like, but the doctor actually dinged level six on the small camp, and you know then he was just able to uh, fly away. But Nymph landed a pretty good seal on him uh, that would have stopped his charge. Mid lane, no, that's just Mara dealing with an illusion. So yeah, the Sync is really dominating this early this early game, and I don't know, like it kind of comes down to. How little interaction Warbeast is actually like giving his team. For some reason, they're grouping up top. Oh, they're trying to punish the Mage Pain yeah. with the Doctor Level Six ulti. But I mean, as you can see, Mage Pain hasn't done a whole lot in his uh, in his short lane. But I mean, that's you know that's kind of what you expect. But while Warbeast's team is is failing, they're they're dying. He can't do anything to them. Uh, he's not even having a port on him at this point. So it's basically just Mage Pain and Warbeast not doing, not helping their team. But uh, Kiss was fine with that because his team is owning. Well, yeah, Warbeast yeah. is interesting with the suicide because in this case, especially in a one versus one, you know, he is able to get some pretty decent farm himself. Mm -hmm. But what he really does rely on is that W is the battle cry, using it and getting assists with it, especially when you have a try versus try lane, expecting at least yep. several kills to happen. The fact that he only has two assists and nearly 10 minutes into this game, it's 11 to 5 in hero kills right now, is pretty unfortunate. I think that's definitely hurting the hero quite a bit as well of what you normally would like out of the War Beast in this case. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, the Mage Bane, you mentioned the Life Dude picked up. I, I can safely assume, I think, is that, that it's going to be a Rune Cleaver here, right? Mm, you know, he doesn't have to go Rune Cleaver, but I, I think that's what he's going to be going for. He got it. He got it to stay in the lane against the Warby's harassment with the Wolves, um, but I think that's going to turn into a Cleaver, and they're going to be going for the late game. Uh, he could choose to go for, you know, the kind of old-school build of um, getting Helm of the Black Legion on Mage Bane making him very tanky, and then follow up with, like, uh, something different. Um, I'm not saying he's going to do that. It's a, it's a pretty old-school build. Yeah. But uh, he, could choose to do, he, ch he could choose to do that, and uh, it would be very very hard for Doctor to kill yeah. a Mage Bane. That would uh, be, like, a very combative, like, something like that into, like, an Energizer. His bottom lane, Polywog Priest is going to be picked off. As poured out from Solstice, it will be in time. Ludicrous speed, though, chasing out Magnus. Lava Surge not up for another two seconds right here. It is a mana battery as well, though. There's a stomp mana battery, Lava Surge. No, he couldn't get it off. The three heroes right here, too much. And obviously the battle cry also taking effect as well. So good chase back, well, but this. it's not look over just yet. Yeah, yeah, the prisoner, nope. <laughs> he tried to go for the long range hook right there. Just missing that. How, did he, how do you know that? They don't have a ward. That was just near just... Yeah, the game sense out of like uh, like his spidey sense was tingling. You know, he knew that something was coming, and he just backed off right away. Oh, but now he's he's fine. Oh, they're, yeah, maybe, they're not maybe. they're not going. What? He's running right back. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, the spidey uh, sense was uh, was on CD. They were really off right there. Yeah, <laughs> on cooldown. That's a good way to put it. Oh boy, that was yeah, that was funky. Anyways, he goes down. Magnus roaming over. Look Magnus at that! Did, dude. He does yeah. go to helm. So yeah, man. But this this is very old school. But Mage Bane is an old school hero, to be fair. And the idea with this, of course, is that he can now be involved in fights a little more. Um, yep. And but again, what does he follow this up? Like I said, would it be like an Energizer? Maybe just into the Firebrand here to enhance damage that route. That's gonna be interesting. Um. Now. It, there's a lot of possibilities. I have seen uh, Imba Pingu playing for uh, what, are they, what are the faces? Um, uh, is it Ogre? He's playing for Ogre, Shrek, I believe. Okay. He goes, yeah, Shrek, Shrek. Um, he goes um, Null Fireblade straight after his um, his Helm of the Black Legion, and then he's actually quite a bit like he's very in the team fight. He, of course, he burns a lot of mana, and he's also very tanky. Um, that is one route. I don't think Kiss was going to be going that. I, I think Kiss was going to be going for something that can sustain his farm a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I, the, the reason he didn't go Cleaver this game is because he has a very... Like, look at his team. He has a Magnus, a Prisoner, and a Solstice. Uh, sure, they, they, they could probably be doing great late game, but right now they're winning hardcore. And if he just if he's online, if he's up and uh, ready to fight in just like 10 minutes from now, there's really good chances of Sync closing out this game. 
so I think like the farming route might not even be that uh, be what he's going to be going for. He could be going for like a, a frost burn or something to just give him uh, give him some more team fight presence. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I even wonder something like a like an elder parasite if that would be a possibility. Oh, but yeah, that would be interesting. Of, that, of course, can't get a shrunken, but still, um, it would be pretty tanky, but also that, deal some decent damage. With that. It sounds a little bit Yolo to me. It does. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny the possibility of that happening, but it it sounds a little Yolo against the Doctor Nymph lineup. Yeah. Uh, with a Polly as well. Polly is really tough to play against if you don't have a shrunken. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna sit on a lot of CC. He's probably going to so, shrunken. I, eventually, he's going to get a shrunken, but I think his next item is going to be something that allows him, like, it makes him a little tanky. Um, Insania, I, I heard him cast not too long ago. He was, yesterday, he was uh, favoring, Tuesday, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Tuesday, yeah. He was favoring, you know, the whole hard over the shrunken kind yeah. of build, because, you know, you, you can allow yourself to get jumped. This is sort of what I expect as well, because uh, Mage Bane is most likely going to get jumped by Doctor. He's just now he's just tanky enough to survive the jump. Someone getting gone on? No, Magnus is just illusion. All right, free towers are being given to X Sync here. That's usually never a situation you want to find yourself in. The second you start giving away towers for free, um, you're doing something really wrong. Uh, you need to be split pushing. You need to be split farming. You cannot just sit behind the tower and watch it drop. That's when you really lose your um, uh, at like. No, you give away a lot of advantage that way. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, so right there, the the more illusion, by the way, was polymorphed by, uh, or morphed even by Polywalk Priest, and it just simply polymorphed like it would with a hero, and then it got back up and then continued running around. So yeah, you have to remind yourself that you can't instantly kill those illusions like you could with other illusions, unfortunately. So. I, oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Doctor getting gone on bottom. Um, something, something to mention is Solstice continues to just farm enemy jungle. This is a lot of farm. Mid lane. Yeah, middle lane jump right here. More axis. They catch the real Moira right there, and they also get Prisoner 945. The lockdown, the tongue tap for Polywalk Priest. The wards come out, but not necessarily the greatest block from them. And actually, he's out of range now. In fact, Marx is in trouble. In comes the eruption from Magnus. Gets the kill. Also, Nymphora gonna eventually fall on top of that. It's a double tap background. Mora bought back, by the way, and for good reason. Helps to secure a third kill on a Polywalk Priest. It's a hat trick for Matthias. When it's all said and done, he is seven two and seven. He's been involved of fourteen of the eighteen kills right here. Yeah. Slapped as well. Slapped has been uh, involved in in pretty much everything as well. This is just like really great plays from from Sync. There, I think Insania really has a good touch on like what his what his t players on the, on his team likes to play. Omi is getting a ma the Magnus who can be very you know aggressive and. He doesn't necessarily just sit and farm, but he can be ganking as well. And this place, this is exactly how Omi likes to play. And Mickey gets a prisoner that's a little bit more farm dependent, but also can be played very aggressive. I, I think, and, and Kisu gets to, gets to farm a little bit. I think these heroes are really, really good for like the player combination. And what, is Kisu really going Cleaver on top of that? Cleaver on top he has of that? Oh, wow. a, yeah, he has a sustainer. Um, Could it be a no That's a little surprising to me. That's actually not a question, I don't think. I mean, I, I know, but it's a then it's a very defensive build. Um, I, I I didn't like to I didn't like the sound of that. A, a no stone is not. Oh, what then? Yeah. Doctor just evaporated. Uh, Solstice with his ball key set up a beautiful ulti on him, and that was just that was it. That was it. And Prisoner finds oh. more access in the jungle as well. Arcane Shield just too late right there. He is going to end up falling. And it's a double tap for Zlapped, actually, in the long run, continuing with the kill that he got at the bottom lane on a Doctor Repulsor. So they are just rolling over Reason Gaming right now. I mean, uh, this is Reason games. Gaming. Nah, no offense to, like, Chopstick or, you know, some, but at least newer and lesser experience, but this is Reason freaking Gaming. And they are just taking them out right here in game number one. I... Uh, this is what I'm saying. Like this is why I feel uh, like oh, Polo caught Mage Pin, but you know yeah. that's gonna hurt him. That's more, more so than... trying to live than <laughs> anything. Maybe by time, as we see here, Doctor Pulsar is flying in ludicrous speed, but then realizes quickly that this is not gonna happen. They just don't have the damage output right now. They're way too far behind the pull right after. Doctor is eventually gonna fall. War Beast also gonna be picked off. 
There's the vote to concede. It will be a GG well played for Sink Esports right here. Not Sink Esports, excuse me. And a hat trick to even finish it off. Reason Gaming just could not handle the, the pressure there. And for especially with the start, man, it's, you know, I, looking back at the start too, something tells me that, that not Sink.